Now, this is peony. Peonia lutea. Peonia delavei lutea. Yellow thing. The little fucker seed. Well, it doesn't seed. It suckers everywhere. It is a little sucker. But the plant I'm really wanting to show you is this little ground cover of Daphne. I wish I could get you to smell this little plant. The flowers are exquisite. They are the scent of carnations. It's, it's an absolutely cracking little plant, but it's a straggly thing. I call it a ground cover because it hugs the ground. You can see with the, the stems come out here. And uh, it's an untidy plant. But that's again been in, in flower, maybe a month or so. And the scent, beautiful. Daphne Blagiana. And they're little bastards. I'm gonna have to dig them out. Pot them up, flog them for a tenner each. You capitalist pig. Anyway. Making a few bob that keeps me in wine gum. I do like wine gum. Don't talk with your mouth full, my mother used to say. Well, she's dead now, so she can't see me. Right. The peony, the lutea, is a piece of cake. The Daphne Blagiana is much more difficult. So, I'm bastardising a few pots. I'm taking a little pot and either side I'm just making a little slit there we are. see that it's about a quarter of an inch wide well, I don't know what that is in millimetres three millimetres I don't know, I'm very wide, don't matter the other thing I'm going to do Let's get some of these little pieces of wire bent over about two inches long. You could use a hair grip if you want. No. See? That's all you need. So I'm now going to show you how to make a few more quid. So, we take our pots with the slits in. Half fill them with an ordinary compost. We take a, a shoot of the Daphne. It's uh, got one with some nice young growth coming on it. And we want to lay that in there. Can you see that? It's getting a bit dark now. I've got to go watering in a bit. But one thing that we can do to help it root is just scratch along the bottom. You see how that has exposed some green. This is the cambium layer. And from that cambium layer, the cells divide into shoots. We top it off with some compost. And here we have your Daphne. There. Luckily this is a pea gravel path, so I can put a little bit of gravel over the top of there. This will help keep the moisture in. I'll also put a stone on the top and leave that there. So, do that again. Let's take this shoot. Scratch along the bottom. There we are. You see that? Little pop. Oh, I've got my hairpin in there. Through there. Now 
Now, if you can remember, try and keep them watered. The plant will nurture the shoot itself because it's still attached to its main roots. But that, by exposing that cambium, you can get them to root into these little pots. Another little stone on there, and away we go. Of course, with these uh, let's strip off a few leaves, by exposing it, we can increase the possibility of rooting by just getting a little dab of hormone rooting powder and just dabbing it along there. Again, dab it in there. Not everybody likes to use hormone rooting powder. I don't mind. I don't mind getting it on my finger. As long as you're not worried about growing a pair of tits. I suppose if you ain't got any to play with, you can at least play with your own. So, there we are. That goes on there. Let's get another stone. Put that on there. And they'll all stay there quite happily. Now, the old-fashioned way of doing it, well actually this is a very old-fashioned way, but if you can see down here, was just to expose some soil, wound your shoot, lay it in the ground, and then take your, take your uh, thing and just push it into the ground. That's it. There we are, a little bit of extra compost over the top, a bit of gravel on that, a bit of stone on there, there we are. Now they should all root in about six weeks, but I'll probably just leave them to the end of the season. It's so easy, honestly, a bloody monkey could do it. I must get on with this watering. So, there you are. A short guide to simple layering. There's all sorts of different methods of layering. There's thousands of different methods of propagation and maybe in the course of before I snuff it anyway, we'll go through plenty of uh, ways of growing things and propagating things. Gardener give you gardening will give you a massive pleasure. And these days you go to garden centres and it's bloody expensive. And it needn't cost a fortune if you know how to get a few of your own. I'm doing myself out of business, but it don't matter. I think the more plants you can grow, the better. This was once a little layer. Look at that. There's a little dwarf rhododendron. It's called Willen. Isn't that beautiful? Hmm. I just wish they lasted a bit longer. Anyway, there's some plants gagging for a drink. Huh. Let's go on with it. Beautiful, isn't it? Just stood here watering. Listening to that blackbird. He'd be singing away like that for about half hour now. That was the hose pipe. That weren't my ass. It was the hose pipe. <laughs>